Ladies and gentlemen, today we're doing a bit of a different style of video on the channel. It's a video I've been thinking of making for quite a while, but I haven't found the time or motivation to do it. Of course, I am BrokeBoy2000, I am creating the Casuals Guide to FIFA 23. Now, I know what you're thinking. I play on an account with 2.4 million coins in Division 3 of Division Rivals. I average about 9 to 11 champs wins every weekend. How am I a casual? Well, today I'm going to show you the most important things to remember when you are playing FIFA. For the first time, or the first time in a long time. Step number one is to play with players that you enjoy and that fit specific roles within the tactics you're looking to play. For example, I'm a Wolves fan, so I enjoy players such as Adama, who are overpowered within the game, that certainly helps, of course, but then you've got fun players like Milner, like Park, like Palinia, even Zidane is quite fun, even if he is an icon and he's a bit meta. Same with the likes of Dallo, he is quite good in-game, by the way. The second thing is make sure you have a tactic that you enjoy. I like to use this 4-1-2-1-2, everyone has a defined role, that's always important again when you are selecting a team and you are selecting players, but don't let your budget or don't let this video influence your team selection. Pick what you enjoy, because that's all FIFA is, is meant to be something that you can look back on and you can enjoy with a passion. Another thing is that there's no need to get frustrated. I know that's going to sound harder than it actually is, but you got to remember, it is a video game at the end of the day. You will experience far worse situations, whether it be in real life or whether it be in the game itself. But you must remember, it is quite important to remain calm because your best results will come from staying calm within the game. Yes, you will have decisions go against you, but at the end of the day, that is the nature of the game, and there is not a lot you can do about said decisions. Now, what you're aiming for, of course, is you might not get Division 3, of course, you'll be starting in Div 10. I would say a solid foundation for a casual would be Division 5, because, let's see here, reward upgrade, you get decent packs every week, especially if you're taking tradables. I would be playing to your 8 wins a week, that'll get you very close to your 90 games. You may play a bit extra, just to get that average on track for 90. Again, I am a bit ahead of most people, so don't take my record into account. And with foot champs, again, I would not be sweating too much. Just play for what you feel is comfortable, whether it be in the playoffs, for example. You get your qualification and then you go on to your finals. Casual rewards, I would say, is about six to nine wins. That would be something I consider relatively reasonable. Anything past that and you are probably a bit of a sweat. 11 wins is probably the most casual but it all depends on your skill level and the team you have and how many free wins you might get over the course of the weekend. And rewards, they may favour you, they may not favour you, but it'll help re-establish your club and set it up so that you can put yourself to good stead for the next weekend and week ahead. Objectives, of course, again, I will say, do objectives as best you can. Don't force yourself to do every single objective that comes out because some objectives are just not going to be possible for you. Like, for example, I may get this draft objective done. I may not get it done. But the beauty of it is that I tried. I got 10 wins in the draft. Most of these you will achieve simultaneously. Like, for example, you will get these five wins in single player, free packs, that you can put in. These play matches are quite easy to get as well, again, in single player. But don't force yourself to do too much online play, especially if you don't have the time or the motivation. 
because there is a lot to do if you have the time and if you don't rush. I personally rush sometimes, so that is why on days like today there is not a lot to do. And one of the last things I'm going to speak about, and one of the most important things when people come in to the Twitch chat, which I'll link in the description to the live stream, is that people say, Broke Boy, can you look at my team? And I go, well, this player, why have you done this player? Because he's out. You don't do players, for example. You don't just do players like this Terrier or this Mares straight away because they're out. You do them because they are good cards, maybe, correct. But at the same time, you wait. You collect your fodder from the club and you don't do it straight away. You know, you, you hold off, you wait, you get it done, but you don't do it inside the first day. The right sort of casual player will do a couple of upgrades, grind it out, and get the relevant things. FOMO is not fun in FIFA, of course, but it does happen. I encourage you all to steer clear, especially of SBCs like this. If you do not have the fodder, do not force yourself into it. Turn on a Twitch stream, turn on a YouTube video, and watch other people do it. And if you have the fodder or the coins, then decide if it's worth it for you. But please, don't base what you're doing purely because you see someone else do it, and you decide that it must be done. Look after your clubs, look after your fodder, look after your coin balance, because it will determine how much fun and how casual you play the game. I hope that this guide, it's not the longest of course, but it's meant to be something. It's meant to be a bit of fun. I hope that you enjoy. If you want to see more of these in the future, I can try and do something for Team of the Year. That'll be coming up in a few weeks. But until next time, enjoy, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.